In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple input, process and output program in the Blender game engine. The example used is entering a distance in miles and calculating and outputting the distance in kilometers. Change the layout to game logic, change Blender render to Blender game, press X to delete the cube, add text and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click the object properties button and give the text object a more meaningful name. Input text, there will be an output text. Go into edit mode and set the initial value of the text to nothing, empty string and back into object mode. Add a keyboard sensor and choose the all keys option so that the sensor is triggered by the pressing of any key. Log toggle, putting any property in this field turns keyboard logging on. We need to add a property. Text objects have a special text game property which makes them dynamic. They can be changed while the game engine is running. Click add text game property. Now we can turn keyboard logging on by selecting the property and if we set the target to be the text, as we type the text will change dynamically. With the cursor in the 3D view press P to play and as I type the text is displayed but when I press the enter key nothing happens. Click on all keys to turn it off. Click on the key field and press the enter key. Add a property actuator, set the mode to add, the property to text and the value to Fred and connect those up. Press P to start the game engine. Now when I press the enter key I get Fred. Add text. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the text down. Call the text output text. Go into edit mode and set the initial value to empty string back into object mode. I want to input a distance in miles and output the distance in kilometers. But how do I get the information from the input text to the output text? I'm going to use a message actuator, delete the property actuator, add message to output text, subject, enter, pressed, and the information will be transferred in the property text. Connect up the logic brick, select the output text, add a message sensor, and put the subject of the message to be listened for to enter pressed. We want to use the information in the body of the message to calculate the distance in kilometers and display it in the text property of the output text. But the only way of accessing the body of the message is through Python script. In the text editor window, templates, Python, game logic, simple. I'm going to strip out the bits I don't want. The name of the sensor is message. I'm using control and C to copy and control and V to paste. The lines of code that access the body of a message are these. A message sensor has a method bodies that returns the body of the message. This line creates a miles variable that will store the first element of the body array, which will be the string that was keyed in. To calculate the kilometers, we need this line, which multiplies the miles by the conversion factor. 
but this line won't work because Miles is a string, a string of characters. We need this line to convert it into a float, a floating point decimal number. These two lines make own the owner of the current controller, which is the Python controller, and the owner is the output text. This line makes the output text its text property equal to the distance in kilometers. Give the script a more meaningful name and connect it to the controller and connect those up. Press P to start the game engine, press 5 and enter and we get a distance of approximately 8 kilometers. Add two text objects to act as labels. I have jumped ahead and edited the first label. Go into edit mode to edit the second. And back into object mode. Pressing P to start the game engine, we can calculate the distance, but the labels do not render the same in the game engine as they do in the 3D view. To solve the problem, Convert the labels to mesh. Alt and C is the shortcut. That's the end of this tutorial. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to format the output. I'll show you how to have an initial value of zero or a cursor. And I'll show you how to prevent the user from entering non-numeric data. Click the link to download the finished file. Click the link or the eye icon to visit the relevant page in the website. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.